Welcome to the What If segment of Pocken Uni tutorial. Continuing from the assumption that you are an engineer responsible for the maintenance of several buildings belonging to your employers along with the building contents, let us now consider the conditions. The owners require that the lifts be inspected monthly and to be serviced annually. Lighting must be inspected weekly with tubes and ballast being replaced immediately. Carpets are to be vacuumed daily and steam cleaned every three months. The pumps must be inspected daily and adjusted if required, but the gland packing must be replaced every year. The fire extinguishers must be inspected monthly, serviced annually, and because their cylinders fall into the ambit of being a vessel under pressure, the carbon dioxide type must be pressure tested every 10 years, and dry chemical powder type must be pressure tested every 12 years. These scenarios can be answered in only 8 what-ifs. Let us go to the What If interface in the Administration section. What If has a golden rule. You cannot create a condition on an item if the item does not exist. If it is a Level 2 record, go to the User interface and add the record. If it is a Level 3 or 4 record, go to the Administrator interface for Level 3 or 4 as the case may be. We select the Add button and then the level on which the condition is to be applied in the first field. All of the activities that we referred to earlier will be resident on level 3. So select level 3, which is now called Equipment, in the lookup list. We now describe the activity to be planned. Lift monthly inspection. We then select the equipment type from the navigator and using the arrow button to populate the field. The risk assessment should be completed, but we will leave for now. A risk assessment is the effect of the activities on the occupancy, insurance, evacuation, physically impaired persons, etc. Compile the safe working practices. Again, we will leave for later. This would be the hanging of signs and any other rules to ensure that the person performing the work or within close proximity of the work being performed are not put at risk or of injury. At the assess competencies, we allocate the competence required to perform the work. In this instance, the competency is lift serviceman. If the competency required does not exist, we create it here. The allocation of the competency to a person or supplier occurs at the administrator interface for both. We now progress to setting the intervals. The first option counts in days, months and years. The second option allows for the third Wednesday every four months and permutations thereof. In this instance we are creating the monthly inspection of the lifts so we will set the intervals to one month. In addition, we will adjust the next due date should it fall on a weekend or weekend work is undesirable at this time. The calculation only applies where the next due date falls on the identified adjusted date. This adjustment can be ignored and Pocanioli will strictly apply the interval rule. The final tab addresses the additional conditions. In the instance of the lift, this is left blank. In the instance of the fire extinguishers that have the additional condition based on their extinguishing medium, the extinguishing medium would have a value against it. In this instance, the 10-year rule would be applied to fire extinguishers filled with carbon dioxide and a separate rule would be applied to pressure test for dry chemical powder extinguisher every 12 years. For all of the other items created on level 3, now renamed equipment, this tab will be left blank. Select the done icon. For purposes of demonstration only, I will create a what if for the fire extinguisher showing the first field representing the level, which is equipment. The second is called 10-year pressure test for the carbon dioxide extinguisher. The third field is populated with the equipment type as seen earlier. By selecting the word medium on the, on the condition that the following is true tab, the navigator changes to show the medium types. Select carbon dioxide and populate the field next to the word medium. The rule is now set for an extinguisher that has a carbon dioxide medium. 
Book and Yoni will now automatically search and apply every instance where these conditions are true. The next due date. As Book and Yoni does not know when the activity was actually performed, it assumes that it happened today. If this assumption is incorrect, a new start date must be inserted within the tab called Activity List. All new records will obtain the what if interval provided they satisfy the conditions. If a what if is deleted, Book and Yoni will remove all activities throughout the database associated with that particular what if. Equally, the database will correct if the interval is altered in the what if. To verify this, let us proceed to the user interface and navigate from customer B to site 4 to equipment. Select the tab called activity list, then move between the records shown in the navigator. Only one of each item has been created to assist in this demonstration. The activity start date and next due date will adjust in accordance with the rule for that record. You will notice that each extinguisher has two rules, one for the service and one for the pressure test. This is the only interface where the start date can be altered. Thank you.